How y'all doing today? You know what I'm saying? Hope y'all taking care of y'all sit today. You know what I'm saying, my good people? You know what I'm saying? Y'all know what to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, share, and comment, baby. Smack that doorbell for me, baby. You heard me. And keep God first, baby, over everything. So on this note, my good people, I'm going to let this video take off. I'm going to play catch it by the ear, baby. Let's go. Queen City News reporter Casey Jones spoke exclusively with the victim's family. He was just a joyful, you know, you ask anybody, he was like, he just always making you laugh. And like the life of the party, he just was funny. Casey Allen Pride remembers her husband, 38-year-old Michael Edward Pride Jr. Wednesday morning, she got a call he had been shot at 7-Eleven on Ellenwood Road. That he was shot in the head, I think in the back of the head. And then when he was down, she said that he shot him six more times. Police say 23-year-old Salviero Campagno was working at the 7-Eleven when he and Pride allegedly got into a verbal argument after Pride spent several hours in the restroom and was asked to leave. Mainly why? You know, even if you had an argument, why did you follow him out so need to shoot him? Nothing verbal, in my opinion, nothing verbal or even physical warrants, okay shooting someone. Your life's not in danger. Police say Campagna shot Pride outside the gas station. Pride leaves behind his four children, his wife, loving family, and his organization, Project X, which supported people experiencing homelessness. He didn't deserve that. He really didn't. He had the biggest heart and cared a lot and, um, you know, for his life to end like that at 38 years old is just right. it's devastating, honestly. Just a tragic story. Campagna shot Pride outside the gas station. Pride leaves behind his four children, his wife, loving family, and his organization, Project X, which supported people experiencing homelessness. He didn't deserve that. All right, my good people. You know what I'm saying? Oh, man. You know, I feel sorry for this lady, you know what I'm saying? Even though he was trying to help the people that was homeless and everything, man. You know what I'm saying? So by him doing that and how she speaks about her husband and he got, well, I think she, they said four kids. You know what I'm saying, man? It's like, you know, the man was trying to do positive things. She said he was funny, you know what I'm saying? He was just outgoing. He was just a funny dude. You know what I'm saying? And... And and uh and I know she missed all that. You feel me? So I really feel sorry for the lady. You know what I'm saying? Feel sorry for for the man kids. You know what I'm saying? Because these young dudes out here, man. You know what I'm saying? Talking about the man being in the bathroom for a long time. He told him to leave, leave, get out the bathroom. You feel me? I wonder what made him went and told the man to get out the bathroom. You know what I'm saying? And he supposed to be. Working at the 7 Eleven, you probably behind the counter, partner. Why you gonna go to the restroom and tell a man he been in there too long? You don't know the man was doing a number two or whatever. You feel me? Some is Bob probably moving a certain way. You feel me? That's why, man, I don't get it. And then they say the seven, they said the people don't want to speak out about about uh, 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 why the employees have a gun in the store. You feel what I'm saying? But you came outside the store. Shot the man in the back of the head. Then when the man fell on the ground, then you shot this man again and again and again. Come on, man. Make it make sense, man. That because you and this man got a little bit of altercation, you going to do that to an innocent man that's standing in the bathroom too long. You feel me? When he left out your stove, you should have just stayed, man, right inside the stove. Do what you need to do. You feel what I'm saying? Because... I bet you nine times out of ten, probably you don't win these the restaurant and went in there, sat down for about 30, 40 minutes trying to, you know what I'm saying? Anything, you could have your Bible moving the wrong way. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? For him to do that to me, he had to wake up one morning. To me, he probably was, I, it sounded like to me, he was prejudiced to me a little bit. It sounded like me, you were prejudiced because how you going to shoot a man from in the bathroom taking so long in the bathroom? I bet you he wasn't the only one was coming in there taking so long in the bathroom. Some people take 5, 10, 15 minutes, man. You know what I'm saying? You don't know what this man was doing. You feel me? So, you know what I'm saying, my good people? I'm, I'm going to say it like this here, right? And uh, 
I got to say it like this. You feel me? Because I'm going to say this here. Y'all might well get ready, man. Ain't no talking no more with none of the young jits. Ain't no talking no more with nobody no more. You feel me? So you might well get ready. Get yourself uh, repaired, even though you don't want to. But you got to get yourself repaired because people out here is not really negotiate with nobody no more, man. They can't stand an argument. They can't stand nobody saying nothing about anything. Any little small thing, man, people want to up that tool on you. For no reason, just because you speak, it ain't like this man came at you, man, with no tooling. He ain't come at you like that. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got an altercation. Okay, boom. He walked out the store. Boom. You should just stay right inside that store, partner. I'm telling y'all, man. Y'all might well get ready, man. You know what I'm saying? That go, let me tell you something. That go all down to your kids, man. You might well get ready because kids killing their parents, too. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? I don't know what's going on. In this world, man, I, I don't know, man. I just don't know what's going on in this world, man. It's like, man, this people just getting weak minded, man, for real, man. Anyway, my good people, you know what I'm saying? I got, I got to speak the truth, man. To me, I think he prejudiced, man. You know what I'm saying? But you can do that, man, like that. I think he was prejudiced. I think he ain't like the black people because I'm gonna tell y'all something. It's still some prejudiced people out there, man. Don't like black people. It's like black people. Some black people don't like white people. I don't know what's going on in this world. Why everybody got to be prejudiced toward each other? Why? You know what I'm saying? We bleed just alike. We're going to go to hell the same way. If we don't do right, we all going to hell. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no such thing as different colors going to heaven. No. Different colors going to go to heaven. And some, and all colors going to go straight to hell. You heard me? Anyway, my good people, y'all come and let me know. Y'all think that dude was president, man? To me, I think he was. You know what I'm saying? So, on this note, my good people, you know what I'm saying? Man, look at him, man. That's the end. I'm going to scratch that, man. You know what I'm saying? Y'all like, share, and comment, baby. And smack that doorbell for me, baby. You hear me? And keep God first, man, over everything. So on this note, my good people, I'm gone. Man. I couldn't even speak too much. I'm gone, my good people.